We got options today on bait, fresh skipjack, fresh bluegill. Oh, there's a fish. We've got a jumbo hooked up, y'all. A jumbo. Well, it's now uh, 4 a.m. in the middle of nowhere, Alabama. And we have the illustrious Econo Lodge here. That will be my home for the night until we uh, go fishing tomorrow morning. back on the road again towards the catfish mecca which is the tennessee river now we fished the kusha last night caught that big flathead and uh, had some other dink bites that were either turtle gar or flathead just playing with us it was kind of a tough evening on the water uh had several other buddies out there fishing and they had about the same experience one or two fish but uh either way we're gonna be catching some fish today baby we down here in downtown chattanooga and uh I'm gonna go turn find left on the lookout street thank you and uh we're gonna try to catch some fish so stay tuned i'm i'm solo right now i may have a buddy hopping in later but we'll see what happens well we got the boat launch baby we got us some subway and we're gonna go do us a little catfish in but first we gotta go catch some fresh bait we got a few little bluegill left over from the kusa yesterday if you haven't watched that video and you're just now tuning into this one check out the previous video before this it'll kind of get you an idea of this two-day road trip and you can watch it in order uh, it's really sunny today, so I got the SPF 50 on for my ginger butt, and I'll probably throw a hat on here for a little bit, but I'm going to just soak up some vitamin D, and uh, got the old pig sled in the water here below uh, Chickamauga Dam, this is Nickajack Lake, and we're going to run upstream, try to catch some skipjack, some brim, maybe some Alabama bass, and we're going to go catting. Alrighty guys, we are uh, below the dam here. Put my GoPro on now. And uh, we catching a little bit of bait, baby. Gotta put this live jacket back on. Have to put my chest mount on. And we got some skipjack down there. We got about eight now. I'm gonna try to get a dozen and then there's some Coosa River bluegill down below it. But right now, they're blasting like 40,000 CFS a current. Now CFS stands for cubic feet per second. And you can check the generation output, output below these dams for TVA on the TVA app. So 40,000 CFS here at Chickamauga is a lot. So there's a lot of current out here. Because of that, I'm having to use a two ounce trolling sinker to throw for skips and I'm on the current seam. They're not like way out in that main crazy current. They're over here on this seam. So I'm just taking it, zinging it actually out in the current because we want to give it time to sink to the bottom before it gets to the same. Now I'm letting her hit the bottom, there she is. And then I'm just reeling her back nice and steady. Look, we're on her, oh, it came off. And I keep missing them. I missed about 10 here in the last five minutes before I put this camera on. There's another one. See if I can keep them on. Came off, I keep losing them. I'm getting frustrated. But uh, that's what we're doing. We're just trying to get us some bait to fish the evening here. And uh, we got some good flow, which I like. Let's see if this spoon's been out. No, just missing them. But uh, I'm gonna catch about four more skips and then I'm gonna go catch some bigger bluegill because the ones I got left from the Coosa are kind of small. We want some big titty size brim. Now a titty size brim is a brim so big you gotta hold to your chest to unhook because he's a big one. A titty sized one. So that's the goal. Miss another one. I'm a little bit further over here out of the current than I like, so I'm having to cast really far, but that trolling motor is halfway dead because I couldn't charge it last night at the illustrious Econo Lodge. They did not have an output near where I could park my boat. So I'm having to sit like way over here in the slack and get it out there. Um, but that's what we're doing. 
see if we can't get us one here on camera i ain't gonna bore you with uh, the headache of catching bait in the middle of the day this is usually best done in the evening right at dark or in the morning right when the sun comes up um, so they are a pain in the butt right now short striking stuff like that so that's what i'm doing got me a subway sandwich down there i haven't had a chance to eat yet but i'm gonna get some more bait and then we're gonna go anchor up on some timber and then we're gonna eat some food and catch a big cat r.i.p my homie dr d mr drum he dead it's like he's been dead for a while he's getting nasty and he stank gross I don't know what that siren means, but. That's kind of not great when you're sitting below a dam. There's one. Got him. Finally, got one on camera. Say cheese, Mr. Baitfish. We need three more of your brothers and we're out of here. Now, uh, if they start blowing a lock out and shooting water out somewhere, I don't know where it comes from from down here, so I may have to run really quickly in this boat. We will see. She went to the bottom. I'm reeling fast enough to keep her off the bottom because it's really rocky right here, but not super fast, so it's on the surface. Missed one. Missed another one, dang it. Short striking, middle of the day. My goal was to get like three or four hours of sleep and get out here at daybreak, but I didn't get to the O'Connell Lodge until like 4 a.m., so that didn't happen unfortunately so we just having to do what we got to do there's one hey, 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 hey. i don't care how many of these i catch they fun come on baby let's go oh well, that's a big daddy he got that bait all wigged up Not sure how he did that, but I got him in the boat. Nonetheless, two more. Two more, we're on a roll. I just had to turn the camera on to get myself in the zone. It's hot. There's one. Sir, we got him. Get on over here. Dang, it came off. Came off or I just broke the spoon off? Or bent, no, it's still there. Did I bend the hook? No, just came off. Been a lot of that today. A lot of that. Didn't get one that one that cast. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm gonna cut the camera, get the business, and then I'll catch you back when we bluegill fishing. All right. There's our baker's dozen and a train. 
Time to go catch some big bluegill. Alrighty, let's see if there's any bluegill on this bank over here. Got working with. Bloop. Oh, we got we had a hit. We got a dinker. There we go. Now that's a little one. Bunch of little ones. Where are the big daddies at? Come on. I can see him just hitting the crap out of it. Like little two inch ones. I caught three bluegill and it was abysmally, abysmally, abysmally boring for like 20 minutes. So I'm done. I'm gonna go anchor up and just use the bait I got. We're gonna go catch this catfish now. We have arrived at our first spot of the day, but we gotta wait out in this Southern Bell. Uh, hello, yes, and touring on the Tennessee River. Yes, very pretty. Alrighty, we have pulled up next to this bank here. We're on the inside bend, or out, outside, no, we're on the inside bend. Less flow right here, and we marked a bunch of trees on this break line right there. You can kind of see them over there. I'm gonna anchor up here for a little while with some cut skipjack and bluegill that we caught earlier. And then I'm gonna eat some lunch because I'm starving. We got options today on bait. Fresh skipjack, fresh bluegill. We are gonna see what they want. Cut us a double bait here. I always gotta have one big giant one out there like that. Cause you never know. And we'll also have one big head like that too. Okay. Tail and go back in the water. Filet, I don't ever use those. Already cut that bluegill. We're going to take this guy, cut his tail off, stab the crap out of him so he bleeds. Same thing with this one. Cut the tail off. Stab the crap out of them. Then we're gonna get some chunks on our jack. We're back on the Tennessee River, so there's another rod limit. I'm gonna throw out like eight, I think. And then we're gonna chill for an hour or so. Eat lunch after I wash my hands, of course. All right, we're gonna get baited up now. Start on this inside rod with four ounces of weight because it'll just go straight back behind the boat. We don't necessarily need it to spread out and I tangled up this hook already. All right. Take our whole jack and put him on here, one through the nose. One through the back. Didn't get that one to sit right. 
There we go. Now they sit just like that and you'll get you a good hookup. Not every time, but a lot of the time. There's pretty much just timber all back through here, which is good. That's what we want. Timber, current break, pretty deep water, about 30 feet. Just throw her back there and get her down to the catfish. We go and get us a bluegill on this guy. Just gonna alternate our baits. Since this is an outside rod or getting close to an outside rod, we're putting eight, so we'll go four, eight, eight, ten. So that they sit, stay spread out in the flow. Take this big old bluegill, hook him up like that. Throw him over there in the danger zone. Jack. Take this life jacket off here in a minute. May have this little storm rolling in. We'll see. Getting overcast. I like that. Pig fishing weather. That guy's on the bottom. And then we'll go with another bluegill over here on this side got me a mess actually we're gonna use one of these heavier rods just cause it's you're throwing a heavier weight over there be a little bit easier on us This is a big cat fever heavy action. Those other three are medium and medium heavy Hellcat big cat fevers. So again, all this is just tools for the job. You just use your tool for what you're doing. That one's up shallow. That one's probably gonna go in like 10 feet of water, something like that. When they're active, they'll go up in a foot of water. Oh. He just tried to get in a tree over there. There we go. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side now that I did on that side, but I ain't gonna film all of it. We got one dinking right here. Is he on it? He's trying to eat it. That is the, that's a bluegill right there. Let's see if he's still on this one. Nope, he came on. I think. Battery swimming at us? No, he came on. He came on. He was just dinking it to death. It'd be lunchtime now. Oh, yeah. We got the nasty cooler top. And then we got the sandwich and the bacon's kind of laying on the cooler top. It'd be all right. Well, we ain't caught doodly here and I've eaten a whole foot long sandwich from Subway. So we're going to move spots and see if we can find something. Second spot. Blue. I have a good feeling I'm gonna get snagged here. Oh, there's a fish. Come on, you wanna take her down again? You wanna take her down again? On the down rod, baby. <laughs> he dumped the crap out of it. Let's get him out of here. Decent fish. Can't get him out of the holder. <laughs> All right, got him. Donk. Like, what's that sound? He digging. 
My man's like the down rod in front of the submerged tree. And the big chunk of skipjack. That is what he was clowning with. Let's see what we got. Flathead. Nice. Nice. I'm all right with that. Boy, they dig. Nice little flathead. Dump the heck out of it. Psych. Oh, got him. Heck yeah. Nice fish. Ooh, doggy. I had to pull over here to the shade. I was dying. Apparently, Mr. Flathead liked the shade too. Just got all my rods out and was getting a drink of water. We got that slammer jamma. Beautiful fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. We'll see it. Gone with haste. Mr. Flathead ate a chunk about like that right there. Just had it dangling off the side of the boat. And he came up and creamed it. Scales are so tough on these guys. All right, let's drop us another one down. Let's drop us another one down, see what happens. Do -do 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 -do. Where's my gold flathead? 60, 70 pound, pound blue cat be all right? Two. There she goes. Loosen that drag up a little bit. Pretty tight there. In business. That looks awfully fishy to me. Oh, look, there's another one. We got one about to go down right here, I think. Yeah, it looks like he's swimming with it. Looks like he's swimming with it. I think he's swimming with it, y'all. I ain't got a clue what this looks like. But I'm gonna try to catch this fish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dang it. Well. He is hooked up. Something weird is going on here. Not quite sure what's going on. That's something swimming with it. swam that all the way over here. Nothing on it either. Super weak.
All right, guys, I got a big fish hooked up. I'm trying to get this camera set. Oh, yeah. He's was peeling line on the hook set, y'all. And it was not loose at all. He's on the surface back there. Weird. He's like hooked all funny or something. Look at that rod bend. Got heat lightning in the background. That's what you're seeing back there. If you can see it in the clouds. He hit, slammed, peeled line, and then came up to the top. Decent blue cat. This one ate a, uh, a bluegill and a skipjack combination. It had a little mini bluegill on it and then a chunk of skipjack, too. And this is a decent fish. Not bad. Good, Quit doing them head shakes. Quit doing them head shakes. Oh, that's how you lose them right there. You got his mouth open doing these head shakes. I'm going to get him on these fish grips. I got him. Whoa. I broke these fish grips. Yeah, finally, geez. He's about a 30 pounder. They wait until midnight to start biting. That's just how it goes though. There we go. Nice fish. Really nice fish. We can release it. This right here is the bait. That one ate. I just cut up another one. Give him a little flavor flave. It's hard to film a night fishing video in general. It's even harder to do by yourself. But we out here. Listen to them crickets. ASMR catfishing style. Is she gonna go down? Is she? Come on. Put it down. Dang it. Go down. What the heck? Oh, he's still there. 
I'm a real down on them. We've got a jumbo hooked up, y'all. A jumbo. <laughs> He's just chilling right now. Let's see. Oh, let's see if we can set this back up for bike cam. I don't know how this is gonna work. We'll see what happens. This fish is going upstream. He's digging, he's staying down. He thumped the heck out of it when he hit it, y'all. I know the camera wasn't going, just... God, there's some line. He's gonna be a good fish, y'all. Big, giant skipjack chunk, hand size. This is going to be a good fish. Oh. Bats flying around me and everything. He's just chilling right now. This fish is. About 1.30 at night right now. In the Tennessee River. We out here fighting a cat. Oh, camera fell over. Move it back. All right. Okay. I'm just easing them up. He is so much smaller than I thought he was going to be. What the heck? Oh, it's because he's foul hooked. That this is like a 18 pound fish that fought like a 40 because he foul hooked himself. What the heck? Dang it. I mean, I'm happy to have him, but he ain't the one I thought he was gonna be. Val hooked himself like right in the gill area. Side of his face. Wild. Probably 18, 19 pounds. Something like that. Good looking fish. We'll release him. Nice looking fish. See it. 